So one thing we might want to do with our job board is actually automate the posting of jobs from Airtable onto our live job board without having to add them manually into the CMS. So we can do this pretty easily by using Zapier. So let's go ahead and open Zapier. Once you log in, you're going to see this screen in front of you. We're going to go ahead and make a zap. Now with our zap, we're going to do one thing. We are going to make it so once we approve the job in Airtable, it gets added to the Webflow site. So first of all, let's name our zap. And the first app we're going to connect here is going to be Airtable. Choose your trigger event. For this one, we're going to do new record in view. So with new record in view here, we're going to say when a record within our Airtable gets approved to the add to site column. This is done by a filter and a checkbox. Let's have a look. When the status gets changed to approve, we want to add it to the site. So new record in view is the first step, the trigger event. Press continue, connect your Airtable account. Set up the trigger, so choose the base. Choose the table you're gonna work from. So in this case, it's our job submissions tables. If you've got multiple tables, make sure you pick the right one. And the view is going to be Add a approved add to site. So once a record hits this view, we want to add it to the site. Okay, so we need to actually test this trigger now. So we have a job here from Zapier, which is for somebody to work in customer success. So let's go and approve this. And now it's moved to this view also. So we should have a new record in there to work with. Back into Zapier and let's press test. Great, so you can see that it automatically pulls through this record from Airtable, so we can use this information now. Press continue. And our next app is gonna be Webflow. And the event is, we're just gonna create a live item. So we don't wanna create a draft item because we're already approving this inside of Airtable. So create live item. Press continue. Connect your Webflow account if you haven't done it already. And then we're going to set up the site. It's going to be the job board clone. And the collection is going to be jobs. And now we just want to map these fields across. So first, the description, the company name, the logo. We need to have the URL, the location. Let's have a check which field this is. Okay, it's remote. There we go. The company website, we're gonna leave blank because this one isn't in our air table. The type, also we're gonna leave blank. Remember these are select fields. So we're gonna leave these two fields, the role and the job type blank for this use case, but this is something you can do with the slightly more advanced tutorial. The number, this is a unique to Webflow, so we're gonna leave this one also. The application link, the job name, we can leave the slug blank, Webflow it is for us, and then make sure your archived and draft is set to false. Go to test action, press test action. And we have a successful, an item was sent to Webflow in about one second. So if we can turn on this app now, we can then just go and see if it's been added to our site. Go into Webflow, open up your CMS, go to jobs, can refresh the site. And there we have it. We have a custom success role been automatically added once 
our Airtable gets changed to approved. So if you add in another job and if it comes through the form, you can just check it out, make sure the details are correct and then toggle it to approved. And this app will automatically put it on your Webflow site. So let's just take a quick look at how that looks. And there we have it right at the top. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and look forward to seeing how you use it. Bye.